Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi and I am back with another framework manager tutorial video and in this video we are going to discuss about determinants. So the content for this video is what is determinant, why to use determinant and how to use it, how to use determinants. So the answer for the first question is determinants in framework manager is used when you when you create a relationship between two query subjects with different granularity or with different grants okay uh, now let me show what happen when you create a relationship between two query subject with different grants for this I have a uh, I have two tables one is or not tables we have two query subject one is time dimension and another one is product forecast the grain for time dimension is day and the grain for product forecast is month. So let me first create relationship between time dimension and product forecast. So click on diagram. Find your product forecast and time dimension table and then create relationship. And if you are not uh, able to find your query subjects then you have alternative method the simple method is select your product forecast and time dimension select your column uh, I want sales month and current month go to action create and relationship now the cardinality for okay and before creating relationship I want to show one thing uh, I don't have any key column in product in my product forecast so for joining the time dimension I'm going to use sales month and sales year okay so let me first select my sales month and month number from my time dimension action create and relationship I found the cardinality for my product forecast in one 1 is to n and for my time dimension in 1 is to 1 click on ok and my first relationship is created successfully next I found a relationship between sales year and current year click on action create and relationship and after watching this if you are going to leave any comment then I am very happy why I'm going to tell you when I'm going to explain the concept I don't want to actually give any type of hint any type of hint so that's why I'm not going to tell anything related so just uh, stay uh, with me now I want to create a relationship between sales year and current year and the cardinality for my product forecast is 1 is to n in the time dimension or uh, the for time dimension is 1 is to 1 click on ok so finally our relationship is created ok now what if we are going to create a join on uh, on this ok we already created the join so let me first create a query subject with product forecast ok and now in my product forecast I am going to use following columns so I want product forecast I want sales month and I want all these columns okay and let me show you the content for this and it is right now content sales here sales month unit cost unit price and expected volume okay and right now it is returning lots of record and for better understanding I want to apply some filters so I'm going to apply filters on let me add a filter and I'm going to apply a filter on year and the value is 2010 click on ok and again I'm going to apply a filter on month and for month uh, let's see April four okay and I want to apply a filter click on okay okay 
cancel cancel and let me include few more columns branch code and branch number okay and it's time to add filter on branch code branch and branch code is I think six or seven I don't know exact number and finally I'm going to add the final filter and the last filter is branch base product number so let's say product number and the value for this I think 4 I think it is 4 ok uh, so let me show you the result right now and now finally we are getting only a single record ok so this is our record and I want to save the okay, uh, I want to save this in a notepad and the unit cost is equals to 0.95 and unit price equals to 4.09 and expected volume equals to 620 and let's see the generated query right now our query is very simple it selects clause with a uh, select statement with where clause okay now it's time to add our let's see I want month name to be displayed here so I'm going to use month English and this column is available in our time dimension now framework manager is going to use our relationship to create join ok so let me execute this test sample record oh my god I am getting 30 rows why something is wrong and what is wrong ok and let me see the query information and this is my query information it is applying a cross join on my forecast with time dimension and this is wrong why my forecast contain data at month level and my time dimension table contains data at day level so applying a cross join without any condition is wrong so in this if you are going to apply auto sum then you are getting the wrong result this result is wrong so after applying auto sum or without applying auto sum I want a single row or I want values following values for unit cost it's 0.95 for unit price it's 4.09 and for expected volume it's 620 why I want uh, why I am getting this record because it is returning 30 rows and the auto sum is the sum of 30 values or in other words for my April month I have 30 days and my new okay, and my new expected volume is equals to 620 into 30 so let me open Kelsey Kelsey 60 uh, no not 60 it's 620 into 30 and let me change the filter month filter ok and this time uh, let's say January February March 3rd and March contain 31 31 days so this time the value is 31 times of the original value so let's test sample and I am getting the value is 29295 and let me show you the total number of rows this time is 31 okay now how to control this behavior or how to control the query generation for this we are going to use determinants so determinants is going to control 
the query generation when you are going to use two query subject with different granularity level or grain level okay let me switch this back to four why because we not we have the correct value for April month so click on ok and click on ok now we have to add determinants on our time dimension so double click on time dimension click on determinant tabs and add a new determinant select F2 and rename it I am going to name it month and check the group by check blocks ok and now next and very important thing you have to change its order now what is the correct order you have to order everything from top to bottom so let's say you have four determinants one is year quarter month and day the correct order is first on the top position is year second is quarter third is month and fourth is day uh, for this video I'm not going to add a uh, quarter and year you can uh, use it in your practice session or you know on your personal system next thing we have to add keys right now we don't have any unique key so we are going to use year and month is our key column so current year and month number add this in your key and if you have a proper key then you can use the key column and next I want attribute so I'm going to use month English as an attribute click on OK and now see the difference between the previous and current result so let me open the product forecast so this is my product product forecast query subject and click on test tab and test sample now finally I am getting the correct result with month English and the number of records it is returning only one and this is my generated query so I think now you are able to understand the difference or, or the difference between before using determinants and after using de determinants and now I think you are able to answer why to use determinants so that's it for this video if you are still facing any issue if you have any doubts feel free to leave comment don't forget to subscribe and click on like button and thank you for watching and see you guys in next framework manager tutorial video